Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Coaster and Update. We've got some breaking news out of Dorney Park where it looks like, yes, yes, they are installing a new roller coaster that we've had a lot of false starts here over the past few years. We had that one right before COVID where we thought they were going all in on a new coaster and nothing it's happened. Just a doodle. <laughs> just just kind of like went off to nowhere. Maybe things changed. But here we are going all in now on some sort of teaser campaign. Um, and they have been posting videos and posting stuff in the park, um, all with this very industrial, dark, stranger things, hauntish type vibe. Jeff, what do you think here? Yeah, like when I was watching those videos and they kind of, if you start from the beginning and they kind of progress, it's like, it's almost like a reveal a little bit. Um, so I'm assuming there will be more. Uh, but it kind of had like an urban explorer slash like ghost hunters almost like vibe to me. A very, you know, now that I think about it, a very Mystic Timbers like vibe. Because like if you remember those initial videos and then even the videos that they still play sometimes in the queue line. I haven't been there. I don't know if they're still doing it. But there's like a set of videos in the queue line that they played like a urban explorer. That was this was that was more like. Um, more like a, like a forest explorer, but this one definitely has a very industrial vibe to it. A lot of grinding in the videos, a lot of rust and tubes and, and, and chains and things of that nature. Yeah, I mean, it. Um, it they certainly have had, Cedar Fair is, is the they, uh, have certainly like touched on uh, kind of like haunted themes, uh, you know, Twisted Timbers, Mystic Timbers, um, banshee yeah. uh in the past uh you know in the recent past um and uh and they've kind of made it like i don't know part of the marketing and part of the name and character of it but maybe not part of the ride necessarily uh but this one might make it part of the ride i think just from well, what i'm seeing and if you think about what they did with the shed with Mystic Timbers, like the ending definitely yeah. made it apart. And I know there's multiple opinions on the how the shed actually plays out and if the shed's worth anything. And, uh, you know, I, I've never been offended by the shed, to be completely honest with you. Like, I, like, it's just a place to be entertained as you're waiting for the next car to unload and load. Um, so I've never really been overly offended by it. They did hype it up a lot. Um, some people are saying there were going to be a drop track there. Never happened, whatever. Um, yeah. But this one definitely, you know, and based on what this ride is, so that's what we're going to talk about here, is the heavy rumor has been dive coaster for the longest time, right? Yeah, and and you know what? I, I like this rumor, actually, because I think that the one thing – I go to Dorney Park a lot. Uh, the one thing that they do not have in the park is a good first drop. And a dive coaster would give you a good first drop. I mean, they're really, uh, I know they have a hyper coaster. Oh, the Steel Force fans are going to be coming after you here. So I know, but I don't think it has a good first drop. <laughs> I mean, like, I love Town. It's, one, it's a ride I really enjoy. Um, but it's just like any other inverts drop. It, it, you know, it doesn't yeah. give you anything. You know, I would say right now the best first drop in the park is Demon Drop. Um, well, yeah. Um, that's uh, interesting to think about it that well, way. Yeah. Because the other rumor way, way back when was going to be that this was going to be like um, um, a, 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 maybe a GCI shuttle loop coaster. And yeah. I think that's fallen there off real even quick. Pl here. There was even plans for that that kind of leaked. I know Danny analyzed them with you guys. Yeah. And uh, it looked like it might have even taken Possessed off the map. Yeah. Uh, these new footer plans. And th these aren't rumors. These are, these are um, you know, real plans that have been filed with Whitehall Town. Uh, they're building a steel roller coaster. It's going to be a little over 160 feet tall, so not super big, but not short either. Um, and they've given out like you know those environmental surveys and where they're going to rip up concrete, where they're going to put down concrete, how that might affect groundwater. But of course, it also has all the footer placements, so we do kind of have an idea of the path and the size of of the project. Um, so let's, uh, I'm going to try and put up that picture. I'm trying to find it right now myself, actually. You sent it to me, but it's a while ago. Um, sure. So you kind of like analyze the, the footer plans and you kind of said what's going on here. And I'm trying, uh, was that it? No, that was, where did you send this to me? Jeez, jeez Louise. Well, we'll throw it up here. Uh, do you have it up on your screen? Yeah. So, you know, okay. Andy, put it up on your screen as well, yeah. of course. But, uh, but I, I've 
I've taken the area and uh, I kind of turned it a little bit. So it's not really facing, you know, like north, south or anything. I just wanted it to fit on your screen better. Um, but you can see it's the plot of land that goes right along Doherty Park Drive. So as you come in to enter the parking lot, um, this is what you'll pass. Um, it's it, um, It's got a bunch of different colors on it, right? So the, mm -hmm. the big yellow splotch there, that's going to be the station. Um, so that kind of narrower part uh, looks to be, you know, like where you would load and unload from. Uh, the blue area. Uh, you know, just kind of past it is the queue. And I tried to leave some of the markings in there so you could see that there's kind of like switchbacks and stuff uh, that are planned. And all of the pink, uh, and there's a lot of them. There's like some dots around the queue. There's some dots around the midway on the way towards the entrance of the ride. And then there's also some kind of like bigger uh, pink areas. Those are labeled as concrete uh, that's being added for theming. So I'm guessing that um, that those ones on the way in will maybe hold up a sign or some sort of like entrance to the area. Uh, maybe they'll even rename the area. Um, and there'll be a little theming in the queue, it looks like. But more importantly, it looks like the train is going to pass at least three set pieces uh, at some point during the course. Well, and that's so if this is a dive coaster and let's let's work under that assumption right now. Uh, one, we know it's going to be at 162 feet. It puts it in the same range as like Emperor at SeaWorld San Diego, as Dr. Diabolical down at Fiesta Texas. The biggest difference, though, is is Fiesta Texas has that second dive. Um, yeah. According to what you saw, you don't think um, it's going to think... have that second dive, which I think is going to make it a far superior ride that a lot of people with the uh, dive coasters out in Europe and with Emperor in San Diego have said that it's a much better experience without the second dive. The second dive slows you down to a complete stop, has you go over. There hasn't really been a second dive on any of the dive coasters that includes Valraven, Shikra, uh, Griffin, that I have felt was worth stop almost coming to a complete stop. It's got that, it, it doesn't hold you there. It just, no. you just like kind of go over. If it held you, it might be a little different, but it doesn't even hold you there. So I've always thought that the second dive was kind of a waste, but here it seems if it's a dive coaster, it's not going to have the second dive. And on top of that, it's going to have some cool theming that a lot of the ones in Europe have where you go buy stuff, you go through stuff. Um, so just doing that might be really cool too. Yeah, so if we look at the green line, this is where I'm guessing the track is going to go based on where the, the footers are placed. And the footers are probably hard to see on your screen because they're white uh, little dots. Uh, but basically, you're going to leave the station. And I'm guessing the dive is going to basically be kind of in the middle of Stinger's old plot of land. Uh, and then at the bottom of the dive, there's that first pink circle. That's the first uh, theming element. So maybe something that we pass through or pass between. Um, and then I'm assuming that it's going to be an Immelman just because. Uh, that's what they do. You know, <laughs> that's what they do. Uh, although I will say that this right away, like you'll notice that track is just straight. So there's no turnaround up there to get to to, to look around. Um, and that's that's pretty unusual on a B&M dive. Um, I'm kind of hoping that it's a and m uh, uh, just because I like the way they ride, but you know, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, however, Baron, uh, that one doesn't have a turnaround either. It just goes straight up and, and then yeah. straight back down. So, um, so like it wouldn't be the first to do that kind of uh, setup. Um, well, it's so interesting too, now that you kind of threw that out there that you hope it's a B&M. We have seen Cedar Fair work with Gershlauer in the past yeah. On when they the, they have built a a dive coaster that fit into the plot of a boomerang as well, right? So like it's in quotation marks. They have built a dive coaster before out at Knott's Berry Farm, um, and I, I guess it's a dive coaster. It's not a dive coaster from what we're traditionally used to saying dive coaster. Um, and uh, you, you know they they hang time. I've ridden it. is a good ride. Um, I like it. It's not like an amazing ride. Um, the lighting package on it's really, really cool. Um, I think that's one of the highlights of it. I think it just looks great on a midway. 
Um, the ride itself was pretty solid. I, you know, I, I don't think it's ranking anywhere in my top hundred or whatever, but it's a solid ride that I would want to ride every single time I go. It's not something that I look at and be like, nah, I don't want to ride that. It's a ride I want to get on because it's a fun ride, um, you know, versus like a boomerang or a wild mouse or whatever else, like be like, okay, I see in vertigo. Okay. I'm just going to keep walking, you know? Um, so, but then they, but then they threw out this, this forge your own fate and well, hold on before, before okay. you, to, before you, okay, you got more before you leave the drop, because I'm still stuck on the drop. I uh -huh. again, the drop is what I'm thinking about here. So whether it's a, a B and M or a Gerslauer or even something else, uh, even if it's a, uh, you know, vertical lift, vertical drop, I don't think it looks like that, but, um, you know, that's kind of what they're used to building. Uh, but this looks like the lift hill is on an angle, you know, with a straight down drop or near vertical drop. But what if it, it's not? vertical what if it's beyond vertical what is uh, this they, they did introduce that on dr diabolical and it, they really wouldn't need to go very far to get the state record which would be a very important record the um, most, well, the most <laughs> steep drop on a pennsylvania roller coaster um, um, why so, are you me? <laughs> um so we also have because because what's what's the record that's at the american dream out there what, what's what's that one called the tmnt shell razor i think it's 121 or 122 it is it is a really steep drop um uh, it kind of feels like you're doing a u-turn up there um, so so could they like I, I i know like could they try and do that like that's 141 feet tall this is 162. Could they try and take the steep record, which at some point I've always, you know, the steepness record at some point, what, when does it actually just become an inversion? You know, yeah. <laughs> like you're going backwards at some point, at some point you're just going to eventually turn into like a half loop. And I think we might already be there, but. Well, you know, maybe uh, Inaman really already had those with the weird saxophone turns. Uh, like, they actually yeah. didn't they have one of those at, uh, at great America at one point, like the, the i think it was the z force ride yeah the z force really rides and, yeah and it's just like at some point it just becomes weird so if it is gershlauer doing it because we don't know who's doing it if it is gershlauer one you don't really like that style of ride you didn't like tm shell razor right it wasn't one it of wasn't really my favorite i was i was really hyped up that it was going to be cool i mean i remember yeah. seeing it on like the discovery channel and stuff and like, yeah it's like it's a japanese coaster right here yeah and i was like whoa that was a bit rougher and not as exciting as i thought yeah so so, and, and like, I, I don't know, it's kind of like that gimmicky thing. We know the B&Ms are super smooth, super, you know, besides cracking supports every now and then, um, you know, <laughs> they're, pretty, they're pretty solid for the most part up until recently, uh, like the last they're, two they're, months. They're really solid with their numbers then. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but so like, we don't know who's doing it. Um, and for all intents and purposes, it looks like a pretty small layout. Um, and I'm going to stick with B&M just because of the way that the lift hill looks like it's built. Yeah. And, and like, it's probably, that's probably the safe bet, you know, and, but even though Cedar Fair hasn't worked with B&M that recently, right? Like when's the last Fury? The last no, Orion. Orion. Yeah. There you go. So yeah, it's kind of recent. Yeah. 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 But B&M seems to be making these small, you know, dive coasters all over the place. They seem to be putting them on clearance or something. I don't know what the hell's going on, but everyone wants a small dive coaster. So, um, and it's not a big, it's not a big plot of land, but it does go bigger than, um, than the, the, uh, hang 10, whatever the, yeah. So in, 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 in fairness, the B&M dives are pretty compact when you think about it, because, you have the big lift hill, but then you you drop off right away. So you can fit those rides into places that you normally couldn't fit a lift hill and a drop. Uh, you know, takes up a little bit more space, but you yeah. know, you get the idea. Um, so let's jump into the theme a little bit before we go. Uh, the forge your own fate. Now, the first when when I heard this, you know, we we hear this all the time. This, you know, are you gonna choose? And we kind of like joked about it with Top Thrill 2. <laughs> um right. that that maybe you get to choose do you launch backwards first or forwards first um because there is a ride called fury uh not fury 325 at carowinds but out in europe uh called fury and it's a gershlauer and you get to choose there's a vote at the beginning um whether or not you launch back or forth but 
this, I don't know if it is a dive coaster, and there's nothing that you see on there that indicates that it's a launch coaster, right? No, I feel like some people were saying that it looked like a launch coaster, but I, I just don't see that. Yeah, so it's kind of, so if it was a launch coaster, then you could add in this vote concept of, do you launch forwards? Do you launch backwards? Um, but if it's if it's not a launch coaster, I don't see how you work that mechanic into a dive coaster, because there's not, unless unless you vote how long you stay up on the drop, like three seconds, five seconds, four seconds, or I, I just don't, I don't know how that would work. I'm sure there's ways you could. It just works so much better with a, but, but even with, um, even with the launch coaster, you would still need a spike of some sort, but because you need to launch backwards. Yeah. The track, it, it was so. A swing, yeah but. so I, I, I don't know if that's, it, it's a possibility. Like they've worked with Gershlauer. I wish the park's, would work with Gershlauer a lot more. I really like Monster. I really like some of the stuff they've done. Um, Danny was just raving about in Europe, uh, one of the older Gershlauers. I forget which one. He's in Finland or something. Who knows where he's at? Um, something pronounceable. Yeah, something. Oh, it's called Junker. That Because I think it was like his 500 or 850th coaster. I don't know, something. Okay. It, there's a lot of kitty credits in there. So, <laughs> 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 um, you know, he counts Rougarou twice and stuff. So uh, you can get to 850 real quick, apparently. Um, so, <laughs> um, so like he was just talking about that one. He said it was real nice out there. Um, so I know the modern Gershlauers are a lot nicer, a lot smoother than say Mystery Mine or, uh, you know, something like Untamed, which a lot of people like the old over the harness. Once they got rid of the old harness restraints, I think their stuff became a lot better in general. Um, and I wish the parks would work with them more. Like, I really wish Cedar Point would have gone with Gerslauer instead of Zamperla for a wild mouse, but, you know, whatever. Um, obviously, they had bigger plans there that we didn't yeah. know about when they installed that wild mouse. Um, I knew about it. You knew about it. <laughs> you, know, you, you, you got inside tracks already. But uh, so Dorney, uh, you know, it's hard to tell. We think it's a dive coaster. Um and it looks like it's going to have a lot of theming elements on it where that, that would lend itself to dive coasters. Once again, we've seen a lot of theme be put onto dive coasters. We've seen it done with the wing coasters. Um, and I think, I think that's going to be a good addition that Dorney has been how long since a new coaster, an actual new coaster. Stinger was their newest coaster. And, and that wasn't even a new coaster. That was moved. Oh, that was California's. Uh, Great yeah, that wasn't even their first. So it's, it's, it's been a while. Um, Hydra possess possessed wasn't new. No, that was a, a hand me down as well from, from Jada Lake. Lake. Yeah. Um, and uh, the wild mouse, I believe, was a hand me down as well. So yeah, I, so I, 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 hold on, I gotta go see this right now. I gotta go find out when when was their actual last new coaster. Yeah. Um, so Hydra was 2005, and Danny would have known this automatically. Yeah, so Hi so because possessed came in in 2008, so hydra technically was their last new coaster so it's been almost 20 years yeah that's not, that sounds correct that's absolutely bonkers though when you think about it that is absolutely bonkers so finally i'm, gonna I'm actually i'm gonna make a, another bold prediction right now yeah so worlds of fun went this year dorney's going next year 2025 Valley Fair, it's your turn, baby. Valley Fair. Now, now, <laughs> but I, I've also heard that Worlds of Fun is making a big play because the World Cup is coming to Kansas City, and I've heard Zambezi, Zambezi Zinger is not the last thing they're doing. So I wouldn't be surprised if Valley Fair gets skipped and they go back to Worlds of Fun because they're really – now, I don't know how, how Zinger has done this year with attendance, and I guess we'll have to see later on with conference calls and stuff, but um, but but – the initial plan was, was because the World Cup is coming to America, that they were going to make a real big play uh, for for Worlds of Fun to be a little bit bigger than what it is. So that's why it kind of surprised me that Dorney Park got something, because I'm like, it doesn't fit into the into the narrative that I think they were trying to create. Because um, there was talk about doing Valley Fair up at one point, because Minneapolis is kind of like blowing up into like a big city. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe just they just feel that Dorney needs something because it's 20 years. And to be honest, a legit dive coaster is probably one of those things that captures attention. That I know whenever I show videos to like kids in class and stuff, 
and like dive coasters are like oh, like really attention getters like they yeah. they like that idea of just holding there and dropping um and people really like to watch them people love to watch it it's a nice and it's going to be right there in the front of the park you're going to see it it's going to be an attraction just to sit there and watch um so i i don't disagree with the move i know a lot of enthusiasts are like oh not another dive coaster but if it's smaller if they get rid of that second drop um I think I, for all intents and purposes, I've heard Emperor is a really good ride out in San Diego. Yeah. So. I mean, if you look at Emperor, I mean, it, it's a, uh, it's pretty compact. It, it, it moves around a little, it only knows a few elements and, uh, and it does not have that. I, I think that it's going to look like the front of Baron and the back of uh, Emperor a little bit. Yeah. So it's, that, it's very, very narrow plot of land. So there, there's, there's only room for a few things. So I, I, I'm all for it. We'll see. We'll continue seeing if there's anything else added to these teasers. Um, you know, I, I'm not a Dorney Park expert. Our Dorney Park ex experts, like I said, gallivanting through Europe right now. So uh, maybe he could. I, I got more Dorney Park credits than Danny Miller. <laughs> <Well>. <laughs> oh, man. The, the 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 You just took your gloves. That's, a, that's, an asterisk. that's another uh Asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> took your glove and slapped him across the face there i got more credits at doherty than you do i'm assuming hercules is the, is the credit or oh uh, yeah hercules <laughs> uh, i think he's been on laser but yeah uh, but there was also like they used to have um, a galaxy there called like the italian coaster or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because i know way too many doherty park coasters to be honest with you how, <laughs> how do i know hercules and laser off the top of my head that's funny yeah. oh, this is also going where laser used to be Okay, so, so <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny that that oh, there's a lot there. So, well, congrats to Dorney Park. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll find out August 10th if there's anything else that comes through that's big that maybe confirms or denies uh, what we've said here tonight. Maybe we'll do another show. Uh, but we're kind of excited and proud and happy that Dorney Park is finally getting another brand new coaster. Hope. Wait, are they? Could they be moving anything from anywhere? Rail Blazer? Does Rail Blazers fit there? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they said it was new construction. Okay, okay, so that works. Okay. They really didn't say much, but they said steel. They said a height. They said yeah, nib. yeah, yeah. And I, I can't like Wicked Twister has been demolished. Like <laughs> vol volcano is volcano hiding somewhere. I don't know how they blew up. <laughs> Although I think a lot of people would welcome Volcano coming back to be completely. Be like I think people will be without the ball it was just the, the the motion. I'll take it. <laughs> right. So as always, thank you for joining us here tonight. I'm of course Andrew Bartrek from Chicago, Illinois. Hey. I'm Jeff Goodman from Long Island, New York. <laughs> right on, right, Warriors. Good night.